Hello, I am Harry Shalmiers, president of McNally Smith College of Music, and I'm very pleased to welcome a uh, great artist and great friend, Abby Wolf. Thanks, Harry. You seem to be pretty much everybody's favorite singer in the Twin Cities. I mean, you really do perform with an awful lot of different artists in different genres. And, uh, you know, sometimes people use the phrase background singer, which I don't really like. I think of collaborative artist, because that certainly seems to be what you do. Talk just a little bit about, that's such a big part of your activity. What all does yeah. that mean to you? Collaborations seem to fill up my calendar almost more than anything else, because having one project with its set of rehearsals and performances um, grabs only a section of the whole pie chart. So all of those extra collaborations really uh, make each month a full thing for me. It has something to do with growing up in the, in the environment that I did. I, I, I understood how to blend in. I had to learn how to blend in to my surroundings. Um, and I, I have a phrase that I like to call it. It's like, I, I know how to match pitches with people, whether it's, um, like the way that, like the way that you're sitting, or matching your posture or not, like. Uh, yeah, let me so match yours. yeah, right, right. You we're matching each posture, other's yeah. posture, but that's just a little example. And so I think that really it gives me it gives me a good ear to understand how to blend into somebody else's song. I try to take a a, a piece of something out of every out of every little collaboration, um, whatever piece that might be, whether it's a little a little clip about how other people run their sort of their business posture as far as musical uh, situations go, or um, like working with Dosh a little bit. Dosh is such a free form jazz influenced and hip hop influenced artist and he just gets all these little loops going. Um, the music that he makes is so open and so different than um, some other like structured collaborations that I'm uh, like I, uh, Dessa's music is very on point and very sharp and so working with Dessa I've learned a lot about how to be how to bring that sharpness and be part oriented and then doing a little session with somebody like Dosh I've learned how to bring a different openness to the table. So every time I work with somebody, I learn something different, which is, which is great, which is great for me. Well, let, let's talk about some of your own creativity as a songwriter and band leader. Um, do you have a particular process that you regularly follow, not rigidly, but when you're writing a song, do you tend to start with the lyrics, have something you wanna say? Or do you fool around with keyboard, guitar, get some musical things happening and then words emerge? Or is it always different every time? Um, when I started, it was always different. I've, I've found, I've found a, a, a form that kind of works for me uh, currently. And if I'm writing a song from the ground up in my own time, I'll start at the piano. Everything's laid out, all the notes are there. Kind of uh, write a chord progression and then I'll actually work with the music um, to, to form something of a blueprint first before I sit down to write lyrics. The lyrical part usually comes last for me. It's the music first. And maybe, and like the melody line will come into my mind once I have something arranged, but then the words are always last. When the melody line is coming in, do you ever start singing, I mean, nonsense oh, syllables yeah, like, that then come out into words and lines that might actually become a hook or part of the lyric? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I also, I mean, while I'm, while I'm, sometimes I'll just go to a piece of paper and just brainstorm while I'm listening over and over and over to what I've t created. But most times I'll try to play through the song on the piano and I'll just sing whatever comes to mind and I'll do it over and over and over and over and make re several recordings and then sort of sift back through there to see if anything caught. Well, as you're no doubt aware, you know, a lot of people that really make a living as songwriters these days, uh, more often than not, are collaborative writers. They get together, they pair up. You know, Dan Wilson, our friend from the Twin Cities, is now out in L.A. writing with all the big names you can think of. But if people get together and write in 
um, in, in duos, uh, in, in, whereas maybe the whole is even greater than the sum of its parts. And then there are a few that still hang on and are just, they do it, it's a very right. private process. Right. Where do you fit in there? I'm in the, I'm in the it's, it's my private process uh, kind of stage. What about when you take it to the band? Yeah, well, when we take it to the band, usually, usually I'll have already come up with the overall layout of the song as far as verse, chorus, bridge, blah, blah, blah. Um, in the case of A Wolf and Her Claws, when I'm working with uh, the very talented Linnea Moan on uh, collaborative, <laughs> how should we, we should like make a term, it's not, it's not, they're not backup. Artist. Background vocals at all, but yes, <laughs> she's a, she's a vocal vocals. collaborator. A collaborator, she's yeah. a, she's a harmonizer. Right. Um, she'll sometimes I'll, I might have an idea of of the harmony that I want to hear, but she'll also she'll she'll find her own way to make it her own part, um, which is fun. Then she's doing those she's doing that, that kind of yeah. creative work too, and she's putting her. So you'll come to the band, though, a wolf and her claws, for example, with the song, right. teach it to people, but then they put their own personality into their part. Yeah, for the most part. And that's um, that's skipping ahead of the part that usually Jesse Whitney, who's the programmer in that band, will sort of will bring a beat forward first too. So he gives me a beat and I work with it, come up with a structure. Then we bring it to Joey on drums and or vibraphone and Linnea on keys and uh, harmonies. So yeah, everybody everybody puts their own fingerprints on their parts. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Harry.